Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! What is this place? Where am I? Oh, you're also being bothered by it. Ha, poor human, you know if you wanted to. You could stop that beast of darkness with your psychic powers, and I can help you unleash your psychic powers. All this destruction, all this chaos, it will all be overturned, and you can slay that dark type with your psychic abilities if you form a contract with me and become a psychic trainer. Hey, you're saying I have psychic powers and can end this? Yes, if you wanted to, you could become a god and even bend the fabric of time and space itself or possibly even become stronger than Arceus. Okay, hold still, and when I'm done collecting your soul data, you should be able to instantly activate your psychic powers by saying the three magic words SP and prism make up. SP on prism make up. Okay, the deed is done and you are now psychic. I will not forget the promise I made with you, I swear, that I'll always keep it with me. I close my eyes and the memory clears the darkness cloud in my way. The future blinked away so fast before our eyes. Will we ever get the chance to redeem that too early goodbye? Within this world so full of fear, we find ourselves breaking through the dark of night each time it tries to break our spell. And with every day, time is kicking by. And it won't turn back no matter how hard we try. But within our hearts, our love's never to break. So let's unlock the door and let all of our dreams away. My heart's racing on, cause I wanna see the future. And in my dreams, I see it with you. The road ahead, I know it won't be easy, but I'll fight through. The blue sky above, I know it'll always wait for me So there is no reason to be afraid Cause the light inside my heart will never fade Okay, now that I'm a psychic trainer, it's time to pick my starter Pokemon Now obviously there is only one starter Pokemon that I can pick so we, of course, decide to go with our best girl, Fennekin, because she evolves into a psychic type, adding Fennekin to the team. Possibly the best psychic type starter Pokemon to ever exist. Okay, now it's time to go up against the first gym leader who's a bug type. Now I personally don't like bug types since I'm kind of weak to bug, but these bug types go down and a few short hits. Flame charge to raise my speed. He goes for quick attack, so I go for howl. And then on the next turn, after eating a bubble, instead we decide to take out Surskit with a scratch, leaving just Vivlon to fall shortly to a flame charge, winning us the first gym badge of our Pokemon adventure. So meanwhile, I've been thinking. Hmm, since we're a psychic type club, why not collect a whole group of people who want to do mind reading stuff and practice telekinesis? So instead, we decide to capture this Ralts, and we decide to form a whole group of people who want to read minds, do telepathy, and do crystal ball work to predict the future and become the strongest Pokemon in the world. Okay. So Ralts is going to be the first member to join our mind reading club. If you want to join the club of team mind readers, make sure to comment down below what your favorite psychic type Pokemon is and that'll be your application for applying. Dark type people, bug type people, and ghost type people need not apply. We battle Professor Sycamore on the way to the next location, and Professor Sycamore goes down pretty easy to our insanely powerful telepaths. Of course, Ralts almost faints because Bulbasaur, but of course we clutch up for the victory and win against Professor Sycamore. 
So while we move on to Route 5, we catch a psychic type icon in the form of Abra. So we decided to chuck a Pokeball at Abra and have it join our adventure. So meanwhile, after we have Abra join our adventure, we decide to evolve it into a Kadabra at level 16, and with the help of a second Nintendo 3DS, we can get ourselves an Alakazam this early in the game. We find ourselves a wild NK at the next location, and we catch NK. After catching NK, Ralts evolves into Curlia. Okay, now it's time to fight Gym 2, and things are heating up with the Morris starting off. So we decide to go to NK as our lead so we can Hypnosis and Psy Shock for the victory against Amora. But we're not done yet as obviously a Tyrant comes out and gets two shot by Alakazam. He tries to go for a Rock Tomb but it's not enough damage and Alakazam wins us the second Gem Badge. While we continue our adventure, we encounter ourselves a Spoink which will be our next encounter. After tossing a great ball at it, we decide to evolve it into Grumpig immediately. But the evolution party is not over yet as NK also evolves into Malamar before the third badge. It's Karina time, and of course it's a fighting type gym, another easy badge under my belt. I think I could probably win this battle with my eyes closed. Yeah, there was no need for commentary during that one-sided battle. But hey, at least Curlia evolves into Gardevoir, so there's that. Okay, next up is Gym Leader Ramos, and ignore the fact that I don't know how to hold up a Nintendo DS correctly. Okay, so Jump Clef is gonna unfortunately outspeed since, of course, Acrobatics is a priority move. Doesn't matter because he gets one shot anyway, and I proceed to level up off him. So, basically this battle was also just as easy as the fighting type one, since I have a fire type. If you're wondering why Fennekin is not evolved yet, it's because unevolved Pokemon typically level up extremely fast, and leveling up faster is typically going to be most useful in a challenge where you are going to use only Psychic types. And plus, having a decently leveled Delphox will be really good. You did an excellent job with your first four gym battles and you didn't let any of your Pokemon faint once. You're certainly a formidable opponent. I'm glad to hear that. I may not have asked this earlier, but what do you want with me and why did you want to make a contract? The reason why a mythical Pokemon contract with humans like you is because we need your energy to feed to, to the universe so the universe doesn't run out of energy and explode. So in exchange for your soul, we give you superpowers and turn you psychic. Wait, what do you mean in exchange for your soul? Is there something you didn't tell me? Nothing that you didn't ask for you agreed to become a psychic. When forming a contract with me and when your psychic powers run out or when you lose them or stop practicing telekinesis, you just die and your soul is harvested for the universe. Of course you could prevent this fate by getting stronger in telekinesis combat, but otherwise your psychic power will run out and you will die. And you didn't think to tell me when I first became a psychic trainer? Because you never asked, why do all of you humans have the same reaction when you find out your soul is not directly linked to your body? It's not like you humans know you have souls in the first place, besides if you don't find out it would not bother you anyway. Severina the gym leader never found out. Why would you do something to us like this? You still don't understand, do you? Normal humans can't do the things you do, and the modifications to your brain are what makes you just as strong as a legendary Pokémon, and why you can use psychic powers in the first place otherwise you would not have made it out alive in any of the fights you did until now, as these changes are what make you psychic stronger than normal type humans. In fact, you could easily outmatch and destroy Arceus if you really felt like it. Whatever. Anyway, I really hope catching this Eevee will 
cheer me up a little bit after hearing that shocking truth bomb. So one arc equals one head pat for my cute little Eevee that I'm about to catch. Because Eevee is really, really excited about you liking the video and subscribing, they decide to evolve into a beautiful, beautiful Espeon. Gym Leader 5 is up, and it is against Clement the Electric Gym Leader. So of course we start things off with being outsped by a Molga's Volt Switch, as typically always. But then he decides to go into Magneton, which is weak against Spire, which is a goofy play on Clement's part. He somehow hangs on a on Sturdy, goes for a Thunderbolt, which like really does not matter. To be honest, like it really does not matter because I can break the Sturdy without triggering Potion Range and go for a flamethrower to knock it out. So then I believe a Moga will be coming back in. No Heliolus comes in. Okay. So Heliolus has dry skin. And dry skin plus fire blast equals instant KO. Cause Heliolus is extra weak to fire thanks to its ability and I was in blaze range. So now here's when Amolga comes in, which Espeon happily sweeps the floor with. Okay, next up is the 6th Gym Leader fight against Valerie. And Valerie uses all fairy types, and she starts off using a Mawile. So Mawile is not the most bulkiest in the face of a fire type, so we typically just take it out with a singular flamethrower for the win. And that's Mawile down in one hit. And now comes in Mr. Mime, who gets a Psychic off before getting one shot by Fire Blast, taking out Mr. Mime. And after going back and forth, Gardevoir finally defeats Sylveon, earning us the Fairy Badge. Before we decide to take on the 7th Gym Leader, I finally evolved Fennekin into Brakeson. I finally did it. Welcome to the Psychic Gym, my fellow Psychic Trainer. What may I do for you today? Hi, I learned about what way really goes on behind the scenes when you become psychic and was wondering if it could be undone. No, unfortunately you can't go back to being a normal person. Once you're psychic you stay like this forever. I was tricked to why I know I became psychic so I could read my boyfriend's mind and we're not even together anymore. I never would have contracted Mew if I knew we would all just die in the end. Hey, will you both just battle already? You're using up all the telepathy energy. Hey, no need to be sorted toward our new guest. Jalen is welcome here because they're a psychic just like us and their family here. We're all in this psychic type mess together. Thanks a lot, Aria. Oh, how rude of me not to introduce myself. You probably already know my name because we can rate minds, but I'm Amy. It's nice to meet you Jalen, sorry we got off by the wrong foot, but we're using up psychic energy just talking, so we need you guys to battle. Okay, I understand. Okay, let's get this battle started then. Round 1 is up, and we are going against Olympia, who sends out a Sigliath. So I send out Brakeson, and we go for the Flamethrower and Flamethrower just barely misses out on the KO, then he gets up a light screen. But that's okay because another Flamethrower would defeat it in a hit. But this would mean her whole team for a few turns would be more bulky, and I believe Slowbro would be next. We swap into Malamar, and then we go for a foul play onto the Slowbro half damage and then he goes for Yawn. Now Yawn is usually a risky play because I cannot have Malamar falling asleep and yeah, he goes for a Hyper Potion again. So I foul will play for another damage 
And yeah, it, it's just going to be a few turns of me trying to wake up Mountain Heart, while Olympia meanwhile uses another Hyper Potion. After a few turns, we will wake up, however, and take out this low bro. We stay in when Olympia sends out her Meowstic Grace Pokemon, and she goes for Calm Mind, while meanwhile I go for another Foul Play. She does Calm Mind again for some reason, I'm not sure why, and then we just take out her Meowstic in another Foul Play, which wins us the 7th Gym Badge and the Psychic Badge. Olympia girl, why'd you spam Calm Mind at the end there? You threw the match. What were you trying to lose in Zen? Yo, what's good, you lame psychics? It's your boy David to prove matter over mind. Uh, guys, why do we have a fighting type with us? Pay no attention to this inferior man. He's intruding on our psychic safe space. And he was banned here a long time ago for being annoying. Nah, you psychic girl is just mad the boy David is stolen fit. Do you little girlfriends even lift? And who's this new purple chick in the espion hat? Is she new here? Do I feel threatened even though we have type advantage? Alright we had enough of you get out. No! Now where we we? Alright, I did however see a flyer they said psychic trainers can be saved from energy deprivation if you come to Terminus Cave to come see Zygarde. Once you beat Zygarde in a battle you will be granted unlimited energy and can go back to having normal lives without being bound to Mew. And that's never gonna happen lovers, because I'm gonna genocide the planet because I'm Team Flare and I'm the dumbest man alive running a Team Red Hair people blah blah I want beauty forever blah 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 revenge arc this revenge arc that Yeah, we need to get locks on these doors, so these randoms don't barge in every three seconds. Okay, I'm gonna defeat Team Flare now. Thanks for everything. Alright, next up, we have to get Lysander. So, if you live in the Kalos region, you know Team Flare causes mischief. Alright, we go for a Psychic, and Mianfu surprisingly does not do a Fake Out this turn, which is pretty odd. We stay in against Gyarados thinking he's gonna do something with type advantage, but nope, Hidden Power Rex Gyarados. If you know what Hidden Power this is, type in the comments if you know what Hidden Power I'm running on breaks in. Okay, next up is Murkrow, and Murkrow gets snapped in health with another Hidden Power. So yeah, again, comment the Hidden Power type I'm using, and the winner will have a pinned comment. Alright, next up, Pyroar tries to get a... Hyper Voice off, but nope, too little too late. Hyper Voice does not take out Brakeson. We win with another Psychic, and we sweep Lysander's team, successfully beating him the first battle. battle. Okay, so after taking him down the first time, we have to swap around his Team Flare members really quickly, so that way we can find the key. And then after we find the key, then we are able to get into the next wave of the Team Flare takeover. I think you have to like find whichever Grunt has the elevator lift, but yeah, we find it and we're able to go to Geocinch Town for round two of the Team Flare fight. Okay, Lysander wants to battle for the second time in a row, so he sends out a Mian Shao. Now Mian Shao is very fast and it manages to get off in acrobatics for over half damage, but doesn't matter. Gardevoir one-shots it with Psychic, and next up he sends out his Gyarados. Now Gyarados usually is a good type advantage against fire types like Brakeson, but it won't matter because Brakeson outspeeds Gyarados and one-shots it with Hidden Power, despite the type disadvantage, easily earning us another knockout. So next up is Pyroar, so I decide to send out Malamar. Okay, so Malamar is really bulky and can survive a lot of fire blasts, so now we hit him with a superpower. It doesn't matter because Pyroar goes for a fire blast and he knocks us out sadly. I thought he could survive some hits, but yeah. Grumpig does pick out the KO again. Grumpig's also really bulky. 
Ancient Halberd does take out the High Roller. And then Haunch Crow is next, and Haunch Crow is going to get obliterated with Ancient Power. And then he tries to get off the Night Slash. Night Slash does not kill because Grumpig is extremely bulky. And we take him out, him out. Okay, and now Lysander is defeated for the second time in a row. Now here's the part where we have to fly the belt hall after slapping around all of his Team Flare admins once again. Alright, now here's the part where Evelatol summons from the emerge of the cocoon, the Thing of Death, and a Nether Dark type that hates us. Alright, if there's anything one psychic person hates, it's definitely Evelatol. And we are definitely very scared of Evelatol right now, as it is a threat to us. And because Evelatol shows up, we decide to catch it in a Pokeball, and we send it to a good home. Lysander wants to battle again, but Gardevoir one-shots his Mian Shao after taking another Acrobatics. Honchkrow gets one-shot by Dazzling Gleam. And then after Honchkrow gets one-shot, we go into another Pokemon of ours. We go into a Espeon to take out Pyroar. So Espeon goes for a Psychic, and Pyroar goes for a Fire Blast, but Espeon takes it like a boss. We then go for another Psychic to take out the Pyroar, winning us the fight against Pyroar. But it's not over yet as he has a Mega Gyarados. Now Mega Gyarados does get the Dark type upon Mega Evolving, but none of that will matter for this reason. Alakazam. Mega Gyarados has nothing on Alakazam's Dazzling Gleam. Or maybe it does, who knows. Alright, next up we send out our Malamar, and Malamar knows the move's superpower. We go for a superpower and defeat Mega Gyarados, winning us the final Lysander battle, and finally taking him out once and for all. Next up is the final Gym Leader battle against Wolfric, the Ice-type Gym Leader. This Gym Leader is probably the most easiest Gym Leader I've faced, which is ironic since he's the last one, but come on now, I literally have the brakes in. Now, it goes just as you would expect probably when you have a fire type. Brakes in takes out for everyone in one singular hit. Flamethrower three times, that's all it takes. Probably the easiest gym I've ever faced. Alright, Creogonal wants to come out, and yeah. Cryogonal stood no chance. Yeah, sorry, th this battle was easy. Before we go to the Elite Four, I do decide to evolve the Breaks in into a Dull Fox finally. We are at the Elite Four with our full squad of Psychics, and we are ready to take over whatever th the game throws at us. First up, we decide to go into the Dragon-type chamber since well, we have a fairy type, and yeah, dragons would be easy for Gardevoir to take out. Okay, first up is Drasna. Drasna sends out a Dragalge, who is part poison type, meaning we can one-shot it with Psychic. Or not, because I guess Dragalge is just bulky. Synchronize doesn't work and we unfortunately lose Gardevoir, which is bad. I did not realize how bulky the Dragalge was, but Grumpig steals the Revenge Kale here, and Altaria is up next. Now we do decide to go for a Power Gem onto the Altaria, he goes for a Cotton Guard. She uses a full restore, of course, because why would you not use a full restore? Now it's time for another psychic to only have it survive and hit back with Dragon Pulse. A full restore again, because why not use all the full restores? We go for a psychic, and then we avoid the attack of whatever Ataria was going to use. We take it out with another psychic the following turn sending out Noivern. 
Noivern goes for a Dragon Pulse, and Dragon Pulse does nothing. We then decide to go for Ancient Power a bunch of times, and only two of them is needed to take out Noivern, winning us the KO against Noivern. Dredigon is up next, so we swap out into our Espeon. Now Espeon goes for a Dazzling Gleam. We do not get the KO, but he uses Dragon Tail and causes Delphox to come out. But Delphox easily owns Dredigon with a singular Psychic, winning us the fight. Okay, up next is Seabold who sends out a Clawitzer. Now Clawitzer is a Pokemon with type advantage against Delphox here, but won't even matter because a singular Hidden Power is not enough to take it out, unfortunately. But yeah, Hidden Power is really busted. I thought Hidden Power was going to like carry us through the game, but the stupid thing has to be bulky, as always, because why does everything have to be so damn bulky in this game? I swear. Of course, we finally take it out, and Gyarados comes out next. But unfortunately, due to Gyarados being a flying type, he just gets sniped in a shot. Not even close there. Then we finally decide to switch out Delphox and stop playing around with that strategy. And then Alakazam comes out to attack Barbarical with an oncoming Psychic. He knows x Scissor, unfortunately, and then we have to send out Malamar. Power. Knocking out the Barbarical. Next up is of course going to be Starmie. Now Espeon comes in against the Starmie and Espeon uses a Return. Return doesn't do very much unfortunately so we try for a Dazzling Gleam. It doesn't work to be honest. We go for a Psychic, I'm not sure why I went for Psychic there. And then Espeon gets defeated, so we send out Delphox again just to spam Hidden Power and win against Seabold. It's ironic how we lost to a Fire-type. Alright, next up is Wickstrom who uses all Steel types. He sends out a Clefki who gets... When, why did I have Malamar up front? I have no idea why Malamar was up here, but... I think I made a mistake while healing the team. Yeah, I got no idea why Malamar was here. I was trying to send out Delphox. But yeah, Flamethrower one-shots Klefki. I had no idea why Malamar was up front. And yeah, Probapass comes in. So we can't use... Fire flamethrower again, so we just use Fire Blast. He goes for a Power Gem. It won't matter because he's just gonna full restore and get off the burn. So flamethrower comes in and another Fire Blast the following turn takes him out. So unfortunately he has a Scizor. For him it's not gonna matter because, well, flamethrower just kills Scizor in a hit. Yeah, Scizor does not do good against fire types. We decide to skip out on Mystical Fire because we already got too many fire moves by now. Aegislash wants to come out, but we have to use Fire Blast because Torment, we can't use moves the same time in a row, and yeah. Wickstrom was all around really easy, I just wish Malamar was not the first thing in my party. After healing up a second time with full restores and max revives, we fight Malva who is a fire type leader. Now I decide to use Grumpig because Grumpig has Power Gem. I kept calling it Ancient Power for some reason, but it's Power Gem. And yeah, Grumpig does manage to survive a lot of hits. And yeah, it's level 66, which is going to help us out a lot, and everyone else levels up too. Next up is Chandelure, who uh, I think goes for a Shadow Ball and outspeeds us. Yeah, I thought Grumpig was faster for a second. And now here comes Malamar, who knows Night Slash, and Night Slash will obliterate him. 
Of course, Flame Body has to activate, because why would it not activate? And next up would be where Talonflame comes out. So I send in Alakazam. Now Alakazam goes for a Psychic, and Talonflame goes for a Brave Bird, which Alakazam just barely survives. Now here's the full restore. We go for another Psychic, and then we go... Yeah, no, of course the Quick Attack happens. Yeah, of course Quick Attack has to be there. Uh, of course he outspeeds and gets a fire whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's gone. And now it's Torkoal time, and Torkoal does absolutely nothing. He just misses with whatever he went for, and he just gets taken out by Espeon, defeating Malva. Alright, now it's time for the champion fight of this day, and Champion Diantha sends out a Halusha first. Now that doesn't matter because Halusha just instantly gets destroyed, he tries to set up a Swords Dance. Not sure why he did that, but Halusha just gets one shot by Grumpig, and everyone just mass spams level ups. Now we decide to swap Grumpig out, and we send out Malamar because Malamar is good against Gorgais. Alright, we somehow are outspeeding Gorgais. He goes for Trick or Treat. A Ghost type was added or something? I don't know what Trick or Treat really does. We take it out with the Night Slash next turn. We don't know what it did there. It just gave me free Ghost type or something. I don't know. I switch out to Gardevoir because he's Dragon Rock. And we take it out with a Dazzle Dream. Yeah, Tyrantrum was easy to use. Malamar levels up, and Aurorus is up next. So now we send out a Grumpig, and Aurorus comes out. So now Grumpig on the Shine comes. We go for a Psychic, and he of course sends out Light Screen. First he goes for Light Screen. And now it's time for Power Gen. Super effective. That Thunder did nothing. Ah uh, yes, of course Aurora survives on like one helicopter. But we go for another power drum, we're just stalling out the light screen at this point. Thunder lands again, I'm not sure how much this Aurora is gonna land Thunder. Oh my goodness! A full restore is coming again. This Aurora is like top tier in on right now. I think this is. Ah, of course you land a blizzard and free. This is the luckiest Aurorus in the world. I'm just P-worded off. I just use a full restore on him. Yeah, Blizzard, of course, land. This is like the 100 percent accurate Aurorus right here. And of course he just reflects that matter because we're all special attackers, and he finally goes down. Grumpig wins, so we send out Gardevoir in order to take out that Gudra. Now Gudra is going to get outsped and take a get Dazzling Green, and Gardevoir just keeps spamming Dazzling Green because well, we go for Thunderbolt, I don't know why I went for that. Wait, why'd I go for Thunderbolt? It doesn't matter because I just one-shot it the next turn with another Dazzling Green. And yeah, we do not run around Captain Bay, but what, what was that Thunderbolt player? What was I on when I did that? Now she sends out her own Gardevoir, which ours is not gonna be. Alright, her own Gardevoir decides to Mega Ball. A Shadow Ball is gonna come, and yeah. We do not get very fortunate with that. Now it's time for our Kazam to come out, and I tried to go for a Dazzling Gleam, but a Shadow Ball, we survived one Shadow Ball, and then Dazzling Gleam, so I weaken it down a bit. Yeah, Alakazam goes down, but Delphox is going to be the one to defeat the Yankee's Yard of War. And with that, a single flamethrower is what it takes to defeat Champion Yantha, putting us in the Hall of Fame and making us the Champion of Kalos. 
only using psychic types. And with that, we have done it. We have officially beaten Pokemon Y with a team of Grumpig, Gardevoir, Alakazam, Malamar, Espeon, and Delphox. Our six amazing psychics have made it through the entire league. Battle with me. I want to know what a trainer really is. Listen, kid. Truth is, I know about how you're a psychic person and I was once bound to that shiny Mew as well. That is until I was saved when meeting Zygrade. Just come to Terminus Cave and you should see Zygarde at the very end of the dungeon. I know you can do it, buddy. Your Delphox could crush any opponent. So go ahead and defeat Zygarde in battle so you can end this cruel fate. Oh, what's this? Another psychic trainer who was manipulated and taken advantage of? Okay, I'll tell you what. If you beat me, I'll elevate you into a higher plane of energy fields. That Delphox was incredible. You're certainly one formidable psychic to give a box legendary a run for his money. Well, this is goodbye, Jalen. Maybe one day you'll be my enemy as well. What do you mean be your enemy? <laughs> それでは今宵の夢の幕開け。